Yo, is this on? Is this on? Is this on? Professor EJ in the house. <clears throat> so I have to write something apparently for this. Uh, I decided to talk about my school days. Why not, right? You know, every day I come to school, I do the same thing. I bring books, I pretend to like what I do, and I go to classes. Simple, right? But it wouldn't be fun. I wouldn't really want to come back to school without my friends. Edinson and Clifford, you know, the same peeps, the same people. Crazy fools, but they're fun. I don't really know if they care or if they just want to mess with me or anything. Or if they want another free meal from McDonald's. But it works. <sighs> but, you know, even if they're around, I always feel like school is mm, worthless. What do you do in class? Come on. Are you sure you listen in class? I just sit there thinking like, I care. Do teachers even really care too? I mean, when they ask you, hey, do you understand? I don't, you know, I don't see it as, hey, do you understand because I care about you. It's more like, hey, do you understand because I don't want to be reprimanded for not teaching you well and you know I nod I nod like yes I know what you're saying because I don't want them to fail because of me I don't want them to go through what I'm going through and that's feeling like a failure every day I feel like there's no point I'm degrading my purpose in life is falling and falling and falling until it reaches this point where every time I walk through the hallways I always feel chills, and I don't know why sometimes. Is it because of the school? The teachers? Maybe it's because of basic calculus. <laughs> or maybe it's because of the bullying. Bullying, yeah, the bullying. Do you ever feel like, you know, you just want to fall off, <laughs> fall off that staircase, fall off that edge? Sometimes you don't even feel like yourself and you just want to let your body control you, not your mind, not your heart, just you. And that's what happened. When I was on that edge, I just thought of the other side. Who cared about my friends? Who cared about my grades? It was all about me. Me, 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 me. So when I was finally hanging, I was desperate to find myself again, to find a reason to climb back up. And who would have known? My friends came along. Yes, the fools, the crazy idiots. Clifford and Edinson. And at that moment, as they grabbed my hand and helped me up, I realized, damn, they really do care about me. They don't need another meal from McDonald's or another test paper so they can copy from me. They really care. And that's how I found my reason. My reason to continue. Not because I wanted to be the best, not because I wanted the grades, not because I had to, but because what were you doing? it was fun. And there were people out there who actually cared, who didn't see me as someone who was a problem, as a trash. To these two, I was everything. I was worth it. And that's all that really mattered. 
One time, we went out to McDonald's again. I freed them, you know, 120 reals worth of fries, burgers. It was, it was cool. After all, it's all I could have done to thank them. And when we, and you know, and when we went out, I realized it was totally worth it. That they saved me, that they hurt me. It was because they cared about me. And finally being with them, going through all the struggle, going through those chills every time I walked through the hallways of the school, I was finally with myself again. At that moment, on the streets of Riyadh, feeling happy. I wasn't happy because I was alive. I was happy because I found a reason to be alive. Them. Dalagang Pilipina, yeah Isang dalagang Pilipina Ay, nakita kong isang babae Di malimutan ang kanya imahe Ano ba ang iyong pangalan noong nakita kita Ako'y di magpagali Gusto mawagan ng iyong mga kamay Oh yeah! Mabalagay, sana ikaw ay magkasabay Malam ko 